Welcome back to another Football Manager Experiment. I was quite blown away by the feedback in my first Football Manager Experiment where I swapped Messi and Ronaldo. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be continuing with this series. I'm really excited by all the, the suggestions you made and the ideas I've personally got in my head as well. And, um, yeah, I really love the feedback. Thank you for all the likes. Uh, once again, if you enjoy this experiment, please give the video a like and support the series. And also leave your suggestions in the, the video, in the description, in the comment section below. Finally got there. Comment section. Yeah, so that would be uh, much appreciated as well. And maybe I will pick one of your ideas. I will definitely be doing some of your ideas. Some of them are brilliant. So um, I'll be doing that in over the coming weeks and months. Um, this will probably keep going. I mean, I'll probably do this in FM14 as well because I think it's a, it's a great idea. And there's so many different possibilities. But today's one's very interesting. It's it's about the age-old question, how would a team like Celtic do in the English Premiership? So that's what I've done. I have put them in the Premiership. So here you can see Celtic in the Premiership. I would have done Rangers as well, but of course in real life they're now in the third tier, uh, third division of Scotland. Sorry, I don't, don't mean to rub that in your face, any Rangers fans watching, but maybe um, I might put them in. <coughs> at some point, sorry, my throat went weird then. Yeah, I might put them in at some point. But today, basically, I've swapped Celtic and Wigan. So Wigan are in the Scottish SPL. So it'd be interesting to see how a, a t an English team that always struggles against relegation every season copes in the Premiership of Scotland. I, I do think they could actually win it, personally, but we shall find out, I guess. I'll just quickly show you that as well. Here we go, Wigan in Scotland. So, because everyone always says, oh, an English team, any English team in the, in the SPL would be able to, to win, even a championship team. So we're going to see how Celtic cope. If they completely fail, then I might try them in the championship. So I'm going to holiday this for one year and see what happens, basically. So, go on holiday. I shall return. 2013, June around about mid-June and that'll be the end of the season so I shall see you in a few seconds but for me I'll be processing this and doing some work of uni work but I probably won't but anyway I'll see you in a few seconds so it's June 2013 I've holidayed all the way through and there are some interesting results to say the least you're not going to believe where Celtic finished I don't think I mean I'm pretty shocked at where they finished. They finished 6th. How? That's incredible. I mean, very impressive. They still had a minus 5 goal difference despite finishing 5th. Uh, 53 goals, 58 conceded, 19 wins, 4 draws, 15 defeats. But I am surprised at 61 points. I was expecting them to be around near the bottom, if I'm honest. Um, Arsenal won the, the league. I mean, what on earth happened to Man United and Man City? That's interesting, you uh, Arsenal fans will want Celtic to go into the uh, English Premiership now because you will win the league, according to Football Manager. But let's look at the stats and um, and see how Celtic did as well. No Celtic players in the top five of anything here. But we'll look at the Celtic team and see how they got on, really, and see what their transfers were. So, this is their team. Best average rating was Izagir. Uh, only played 15 games. And then Abdu um, was there. Can't see his stats, but his uh, attributes. Top scorer, Gary Hooper, of course. So, that also, this also proves that Gary Hooper can do it in the Premiership. Um, how many goals in the Premiership, actually? I forgot to check. 14 goals in the Premiership, 24 overall. Of course, they play continental football, so I don't know how they got on in that. But we can see the fixtures, I guess. See how they got on. So, any decent wins that stand out? Champions League, 4-0. How'd they do in the Champions League? They got to the quarterfinal. Yeah, quarterfinal. No, that's Capital One Cup, sorry. Um, ah, they didn't quite make it through. Barcelona and Dortmund in their group and they went through ahead of Celtic but they did well, two wins, two draws, two defeats 
they got to the Capital One Cup semi-final and lost yes they lost against Man City but they did very well to get that far that's interesting FA Cup they won in the third round but lost in the fourth round against Southampton um, beat Tottenham 3-1 there so a very very impressive season I can't quite believe they managed that if I'm honest I was not expecting them to finish sixth. so everyone's saying oh that they'd finish bottom of the championship I mean I know everyone's going to say football manager isn't real life but <laughs> I'm just uh, comparing it to real life and I think that's very impressive of them to, to finish sixth with only three signings what two that are on loan Danny Fox on loan from Southampton Danny Wilson on loan and Abdu who was their best player um, pretty much from Millwall uh, a lot of players going out on loan and yeah that was it so they didn't really sign anyone and they still managed to finish sixth with only three signings two of which were on loan I think that's very very impressive of them um, yeah I'm actually quite surprised by that now we're going to go to Scotland and as you can see my, my prediction of Wigan winning their title didn't come true St Mirren won it, that is very interesting I um, wasn't expecting that so Wigan, I really thought they'd win it just because they're a premiership team but obviously Celtic won the English so not even won the English, they finished sixth. So um Wigan. Kone with fourteen goals, second top scorer. Ronnie Stam in fourth in average rating. Ben Watson assists. So I don't know who they signed, but they finished sixth. And quite interesting. Best average rating was Ronnie Stam. Then James McCarthy. Hmm, interesting above McCarthy, or they sold McCarthy. They must have. Goals from Coney. Sento, Watson, Gomez. Oh, there's McCarthy. I love that player. What a beast. Great player. I would recommend signing signing him. Um, Ali Al Habs, he had a very good season. 7.1, 7.21 average rating. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's an interesting way of going about it. There's no point doing the championship one, really, because, as we can see, um, Celtic finished sixth. If I go back to the... So I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Would they, they, I don't think they'd do that well in real life. But who knows? Maybe they would. Just because they've got that winning mentality and momentum that if they've had a built over the years of just winning title after title. They might carry that into the English Premiership if they ever were put in it. Um, I think in real life, I don't think they'd put them in the Premiership straight away though. If they were to, to move Celtic and maybe a couple other teams across. But yeah, that's the end of this episode really. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What you think Celtic would, if Celtic would manage it in real life, and maybe what sort of Premiership teams would win the Scottish League easily. Um, I was thinking Wigan would, but they didn't. Saint Mirren did. Saint Mirren did. Sorry. So interesting stuff. I hope you're interested in this series. Leave your suggestions as well in the comment section below, and give the video a like to support the series. And if you want me to to get another one out quickly, basically. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Football Manager experiment.